In this lecture, we will implement AutoMapper in our application and we will see how we can use AutoMapper to reduce the work that we were doing by mapping the domain models and DTOs back to each other. So if you see the regions controller over here, we were doing mappings. So for example, in the get all method, we were mapping the domain models to DTOs and later on, we were also doing the mapping between a DTO to a domain model and vice versa. Sometimes even twice in the same method because you were receiving a DTO and we also wanted to expose a DTO, but we had a domain model in between. So things like these, which are just repetitive and redundant, AutoMapper takes away quite a lot of that with a single line of code. So implementing AutoMapper will make your code look much cleaner and much reliable. Now I do want to mention that AutoMapper is just another way to do this stuff. It is not a complete replacement. So if you want, you can stick with this mapping of the DTOs to domain models or the domain models to DTOs like this and that is totally fine. But if you want, you can also reduce these lines of code by a single line of code by using AutoMapper. So this is totally optional, but if you want to learn and implement AutoMapper, you can go ahead with this as well. So the first thing we need to do to use AutoMapper is to install the packages for AutoMapper. So I will right click on dependencies Go to manage NuGet packages and browse for a package called AutoMapper. So AutoMapper. I will select the first one from here and click on install. Once the package is installed, we can now close the NuGet window and we now want to create profiles, the mapping profiles for our models. For that, I will create a folder inside the project. So right click on the project, add a new folder. And I will call this mappings. Inside the mappings folder, I will create a profiles class, or you can also call it a mapping class or anything like that. So let's say we call it the auto mapper profiles. So auto mapper profiles. Now this class inherits from a class from the AutoMapper package, which is the profile class. So I will search for profile, control period, and it comes up with the package that we just installed. So I will import this namespace. And after that, we have to create a constructor. So CTOR to create a constructor. And inside the constructor, we will now create the mappings. Mappings can be created using the method create map. So if I start writing create map, it comes up with this extension, which needs two types. It needs a type of source and it needs a type of de destination. So we are taking a source and a destination and AutoMapper is doing the, uh, the mapping for us. If the name of the properties exactly match with each other, AutoMapper will just map the value of that property from the source to the destination. And if they are not matching, we have to explicitly define the mapping between those properties in these, these, these two models. For an example, if we had two classes, for example, a user DTO and a user domain model, and they had some properties, for example, a property called full name in the user DTO and a property called full name in the user domain model. Then in the auto mapper, we could define the property mapping like something like this. Let's say we need the source first. So let's say there's a conversion happening from DTO to domain model. So user DTO as a source and the destination is user domain model and then you can close it like this now automapper does give us a smart way to do a reverse mapping as well in case you also want to map domain model to dto either you can just type it one more time and change the values around or you can use use a reverse map using a reverse map AutoMapper automatically defines a reverse map between the source and destination as well. So that is a good thing to have. Now you must be thinking what will happen if the 
property names were slightly different in each of the domain and DTO, which could totally be possible. So let's say our user domain model had the property of name and that's the full name as well but that is just how the the domain model was defined and the dto has the property of full name would automapper be able to map these properties now and the answer is at the moment it won't be able to because the property names don't match and hence it won't be able to map the full name to the name property in the domain model we have to do something different over here before the reverse map, I want to also use this method for member and we will say for member x such that x dot name which is in the destination. We want to use some options. So let's say opt such that opt dot map from and we can explicitly define where to map the value from in the source. So I'm telling this I'm telling automapper that put the value here from this property. So map from x such that x dot full name. And with that, we are now defining explicitly the mapping between properties as well. So this was just for an example. You can read more about automapper on their website as well. They have a very helpful documentation. So I will remove this and the classes that were used just for these examples and now we want to create the mappings that we have inside our regions controller so that we can clean that up so i will go to the regions controller and see what mappings do we have we have a mapping in the get all method which is a uh, over here which is the domain model to dto and that's the domain model which is the region domain model to the region dto so that is the first mapping we need so let's create a map between the region domain model and region dto and because we know the property names are the same we don't have to uh, define member properties uh, the mapping properties uh, explicitly so we can just keep it as it is and we can also add a reverse map in case we are using the region dto to region uh, reverse map in somewhere so we have one mapping defined so we can go back to the controller and now uh, we can use automapper over here but before we can actually use automapper we have to tell the application to use these profiles when the application starts and that's what we are now about to inject in the application so we will open the program.cs file and we have to inject automapper when the application starts so in here i can say builder.services dot add automapper and now it needs the assembly to scan so we can say type of and we can mention the name of the file that we have uh, which is our automapper profiles so we can say automapper profiles over here so now automapper when the application runs it will scan for all the mappings that it could find in this file and uh, it will basically have that stored and when it needs it it will be injected in the controller so that we can use the mapping whenever we want to so now that this is injected it's now time to inject the auto mapper uh, inside the controller so that we can use the mapping so inside the constructor which is over here on the top i will add a another injection which is i mapper and this comes from the auto mapper, mapper package as well so click on that give it a name let's call it mapper and press control dot or control period to create and assign this field so now i can use mapper inside the get all method over here so we had a mapping of this so i will just comment it out for the time being and the way we use the mapper over here is mapper dot map and it takes a type so it needs the t destination and we were converting map domain models to dto's which is a list of region dto so this will be our type so we need a list of region dto and in brackets we want to supply the source and the source is the region domain model we have over here so we are converting or we are mapping domain model to dto let's put a comment over here as well so map domain models to dto's 
and just by this statement automapper will do its magic and will convert all the dto's all the domain models inside this object and convert it to a list of region dto now we can save that in a variable that we had so let's just define a regions dto which is same as this and now we are supplying it to the ok response back so if you look at it now if i temporarily just clean this you can see how clean the uh, controller becomes so now the job of the controller is to only do the stuff get the stuff from the repository which it is required then just you know change the response into a dto and send it back you can even go one step further and just do the mapping inside the ok response so we don't have to have these two lines as well and you know just with these two lines you can you can have the get all method in the controller so it's looking much cleaner and much more readable as well so now that we have done the mapping it's now time to test this out before we change any other functionality so i will run my solution so swagger is running and we want to test the get all regions method which is right here so expand on that click on try it out and hit the execute and if i scroll down we get the 200 response back with all the results coming back from the database and you get all the properties back with all the values as well so you can see how with these lines of code we have shrinked the method so that we are just doing the necessary and it becomes way more readable uh, to the looker as well that you know the primary function of this get method is to retrieve the result from the repository and just return the result back and that is it and that makes it a very clean uh, controller so now that we have automapper running and tested let's go on and you know change the other mappings that we have in this uh, controller as well so i will stop the uh, the solution and I will look at the get by ID method in here let's look for mappings so this is just getting stuff from the repository checking if it is null and returning not found so we do a map between region domain model to region DTO now this is the same as what we had over here not a list but a single entity and you can clearly see that you know even though you created just a single map between one to one object but automapper is smart enough that it converts lists from the source to a list of destination as well so we can just directly use the same mapping over here so i will remove this and i can just directly code it inside the uh, the ok response that i need mapper to map and the destination is the region dto to map into a dto from the source is the region domain model over here and with just that single line of code everything should be working as expected and automapper is handling the mapping for us so i will minimize this as well and we will test this later on now we come to the next method that is the create method which is the post functionality and we are mapping the request dto to a domain model first so we have a mapping over here which is between the uh, the source is the request dto and the destination is the region domain model but we don't have the mapper for that at the moment so let's create a map i will say create map between the source which is the add region request dto and the destination which is the region domain model and then i will also do a reverse map in case i need it i know i'm not requiring it but this is just okay to have as well now that i have the map i can now remove this functionality and just keep the variable name because we would need that so remove this and say mapper dot map the destination is the region domain model and the source is what is coming in the request and that's one mapping then we use the repository to create the async uh, the region and then we convert it back from the domain model to a dto which is the region domain model to a region dto and we have that mapping already in line one over here so we can just directly uh, remove this so let's say 
throw it in a variable mapper dot map and we want to convert it into a DTO so region DTO from the region domain model just like that and now it looks a lot less cluttered as well again it is totally optional if you want to use the conventional way of mapping between objects that is totally fine as well now we have two other methods one is the update region request and that will be similar to how we have the add uh, region request so i will copy that and change this to update region request dto and come back to create this mapping so I can change this and say mapper dot map. I will map this into a region domain model from the update. I'm sorry, this I have to just copy uh, from the update request. And now I'm just using that to update from the repository. Then finally, before displaying the result, I can and and Visual Studio is also suggesting me that you can now use this. So if I just tab on this, it has automatically converted the region domain model into a DTO because we have uh, you know this functionality now in Visual Studio enabled. So with that, we are converting our domain model to DTO. You can also just copy it and control X, paste it over here, and then we won't even need that line. So much cleaner update method as well. Finally, we have the delete where we are doing the mapping before returning the response. And again, Visual Studio is suggesting us. So just tab on that and you can control X and control V over here. So this was also mapper.map converting it into a region DTO from a region domain model. So this was all the mappings that we had to do for AutoMapper and moving on when we are creating new controllers, we will be using uh, AutoMapper and we will be defining the mappings in the AutoMapper profiles as and when they are required.